Hi, in this video I hope to give you a brief idea of what is vascular and interventional radiology, also simply called IR. It is a relatively new specialty where highly trained physicians use modern imaging techniques to target the disease precisely using minimally invasive technology to fix big problems. We use state-of-the-art devices and our goal is to provide effective treatments with less pain, faster recovery time, less complications and better outcomes. Still not clear? Here's what we do. Sometimes we insert a small catheter in an artery, usually in the groin, using ultrasound guidance. From there, using a state-of-the-art x-ray system, we can navigate essentially throughout the entire human body from head to toe. We prevent strokes. Sometimes buildup of plaque in the carotids can cause narrowing and increasing risk of stroke. Although this can be treated with open surgery, some patients cannot tolerate due to other medical problems. An alternative to surgery is called a carotid stent. As you can see, a metallic mesh is inserted through the blockage and then deployed with x-rays, improving immediately the blood flow and therefore decreasing the risk of stroke. Peripheral artery disease, PAD. Some patients have blockage of the arteries going to the legs. The lack of blood flow can cause pain, wounds that do not heal, and if not treated, even loss of a limb. The good news is that traditional surgery is rarely necessary these days. Most of the time, the blood flow can be restored by techniques pioneered by interventional specialists, including balloon angioplasty, stent placement, and endovascular removal of plaque. Here is a stent. It's a small, flexible metallic mesh that opens up the narrowing caused by the plaque. We also treat cancers. In this picture you can see a liver tumor. We're able to insert a catheter directly into the blood supply, allowing us to deliver small microscopic beads that can be loaded either with a specific chemotherapy or radiation, which is also called wine 9 Tumor ablation. Some localized tumors can be treated by inserting a special needle under imaging guidance directly into the tumor. This allows us to essentially burn the disease. In some situations, it may be as effective as surgery, with less risks and faster recovery time. Fibroids. They are really common and can frequently cause problems including bleeding, pain, urinary symptoms and sexual problems. Interventional radiologists have been perfecting a technique called fibroid embolization. In this procedure, a small catheter is inserted in the artery going to the fibroids and we're able to block the blood flow to them. This can shrink the fibroids, relieve the symptoms and even in sometimes preserve fertility. DVT, deep venous thrombosis. It means a blood clot was formed in the veins, usually in the legs. They can cause severe pain and swelling of the leg, and there is also a risk the clots can travel to the lungs, blocking the blood flow to them. Fortunately, we have a vast experience with uh, several different techniques to successfully remove these blood clots to relieve the symptoms, prevent complications, and avoid permanent damage. Varicose veins and spider veins. Nobody likes that. However, it is nice to know that we have several new techniques to get rid of them. We have been using state-of-the-art minimally invasive technology, including laser, saphenous vein ablation, clary vein, and sclerotherapy. I hope this video gave you a brief idea of what vascular and interventional radiologists do. Ask your doctor if these minimally invasive options are good for you. 
If you need more information, go to our website www.irpen.org. Have a good day.